Hello everyone, Meta Keyman here, and I'm thinking of doing something different this time. I'm going to do a Let's Survive. It's like a Let's Play, except you try to survive. And the reason I say that is because the game I am playing is the Ancient Domains of Mystery, also known as Adom, which is hard as all hell. I'm serious, I've barely gotten far into the game. So, let's survive, shall we? Now, starting out the game, you your character that you generate is born on a certain month, and this affects how the character is. For example, I'm born in the month of the raven. Harder to trick by deceptions. Messengers will reach you faster. You are faster by 10, as in a plus 10 to speed. Your companions are more powerful, and you have a plus 2 to initial perception. I will create a specific character type. I will create a male human paladin. You were born to be a male human. You have brown hair, brown eyes, and a pale complexion. Your father is a guildmaster. Your family generally is weather rather wealthy and well known in your hometown. As a child, you lived through happy days. Your parents tried to ease your life as much as possible and gave you a lot of comfort. As a youth, you spent a lot of time in the wilds, exploring woods, and generally enjoying your freedom. You had a lot of fun and learned to value the treasures of nature. As a young adult, you had to work a lot to finance your apprenticeship. You were often tired and exhausted, but all this was forgotten when you finally achieved your goal. At the age of 25, you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned paladin. Show your attributes be modified randomly, randomly. So now I choose my talents. Usually, I will pick Miser. I don't know what that was all about. But now, my name. CD. Setting up some music real quick. There we go. The weather is mild and comfortable. A slight wind is blowing, and I am on a road. So let's go, shall we? You enter Torino, a tiny hamlet consisting of a few primitive cottages, a shop, and a village hall. Trees grow peacefully between the small homes of the local populace. You feel at ease. So I'm just gonna walk around town. It's a few qu Now I want to take the farmer. Okay, talk to Goof, I'll lock the druid. Recently, we have been plagued by the attacks of evil sorcerer. He was once a brother of my order, but now it's fallen for the dark powers. He is a black druid, corrupting the powers of nature and twisting them to suit his darker needs. His name is Keyfrax. Find him and defeat him. He has set up his headquarters in a sinister cave to the southeast. If ye return of success, I'll reward thee. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go defeat some hardcore badass. Anyway. Talk to Taiwa Pear the Sheriff. Listen! Granach, the raider, is roaming the countryside. He's a nasty raider on the pillage. Slay him and you'll receive a nice reward. I, lad, abide by the laws and us will be friends. You know, we set boundaries on the heads of criminals. Bring him in! Alright. Welcome to Monk Sips, Magnificent Munchies Mall. He doesn't like to. No, I don't want to attack people. Although they do like to get in my way a lot. I'm tempted to. But, you know, being the paladin I am, I know it's wrong, so I'll buy the rations and leave. Now I gotta find a little girl. Right here. Somewhere. She likes to kind of run around and, I don't know, just wander off. Can't find a little girl. Ah, there she is. Talk to the tiny girl. Okay, she loses her dog near the pass. I, I can barely read what she says. It's so broken anyway. Going into the cave. Where the dog is. Save the dog. So we're going to light this torch. And fighting a large bat. And then... Oh crap. Water. Going to eat the corpse, and let's see if anything's messed up. Nope, nothing's rusted according to my knowledge. Nope. I better eat that apple. Pork goes completely rotten. And discontinuing this dungeon. Once again, opening doors. I live the exciting life of opening doors that are occasionally stuck. You're on the edge of your seat, there's a bad corpse, it tastes like chicken. That was the most important thing, I had to tell you that. And I'm feeling a bit sarcastic at this point. So, I'm fighting rats and such now. Finding more food just lying around. And... Going to explore the rest of this floor. 
And there's more orbs, and I love more. So, oh, that was haggling. Whoops. Okay, there's a good healing. Let's see what's on the ground. 34 gold pieces, yes. Torch, yes. But not rocks, though. Kill the orc. I'm not picking up the crude knife. Open the door. Whoa, whoa, no, no, you're gonna die. Door is locked. I do not have the appropriate key. Previously, hidden runes suddenly explode. Your torch is ripped apart. Okay. The door is open. There's no secret door. I don't know why I bothered looking anyway. So. And there is something. And. Ah, right here. Going downward. Not picking up the ugly clothes because they're, you know, so not fashionable. And I advance a little further. Good for me. Looking and dodge and food preservation. And for talent. Oh, I press good learner. Oh well, good learners are right. And once again, a dark room of death and stuff. All <sighs> oh, right, more monsters. Pretty weak though, and. Scroll labeled good stuff, which is, if I remember correctly, a scroll of familiar summoning, which means I can summon a monster and it will be my friend. Whoa, those are some bad boots. Damn. It's a really bad minus two DB, and they're cursed, so I can't take them off. Bad stuff. Hopefully, I can find a scroll. Whoa, my god! That is the heaviest quarter staff I have ever seen. I'm just gonna carry that around just for kicks. Seriously, as soon as I can find a place to sell it. And those are just some rocks. Ooh, ant warriors! I hate ant warriors. And ratlings. I believe that's a thief. You want a piece of me, ant warriors? Fine. Level up power, go! Hmm. Let's see. First aid, food preservation. So I'm just button mashing the left button, fighting off ant warriors and ant workers. It's exciting, I'm sure. And there's the ant warriors. I hate ant warriors, to be honest. They kill me. Because they have so much dang defense. Anyway, upping and dodge, and, and food preservation. Why not? So I fight the ant warriors, and there are many of them. This is the part where a wizard would be handy for with his lightning and death spells. And yeah, I keep hitting stuff that don't manage to harm it. In fact, let's look up the information. A DV of 12, a PV of 10, so yeah, they're not taking much. So let's keep attacking them. Ah, oh, screw it, I'll wait. I can be patient. Besides, I'm gonna be coming back here later, and then there'll be an army coming after me. Along with Queenie. Ah, uh, hopefully if I find that dog, it will not die stand, whereas like they did one time. Anyway. Whoa, lot of orcs. Lots of orcs. And a floating eye. I hate floating eyes. They like to paralyze me. First aid. Okay. Cool, the orc chieftain is going to die and suffer. And the rest of the orcs will suffer too. Once every 1,000 you can cure diseases. Always a good thing. You really need to not be sick, because, you know, being sick sucks. You lower to about 40% hit points every time you get high anyway. I gained a talent hardy. And there's simply rocks there. 